I was brought up in taffeta dresses and taught to be pretty and precious, spending my playtimes with plastic princesses who all had those bodies just utterly ludicrous, minuscule waist and huge boobs, and it's all nipless and no pubes and no creases. I mean, Jesus, it's pretty confusing, especially at six. In that fairy tale world, all the girls end up happy ever after, wooing their knights in shining armor. But some nights down the track, you can bet they'll be trapped, spending nights in shining armor. While their knights spend their nights at a bar or at a ball with some harlot, I'm not bitter, it's just better that I don't fall for all that romantic bullshit. Now that I'm older, although I don't mind the thought of being tossed over a shoulder and trotted off to a mansion by some ruggedly handsome man in a fireman helmet and have him just use me for sex. As I said, it's a little complex. Likely he'd be not quite my type. One day they say he'll come riding up on the back of a horse. But of course I'm allergic to horses. How will I tell him he'll just have to sell him? I went to school with a girl. I remember her well. She was pretty smart and pretty as hell. Her folks had a farm, but she wouldn't stay, of course. She wanted Prince Charming, so she went to LA, of course. Managed to seduce a famous actor or producer. Shacked up in a house on a hill with a cat and a juicer and a fancy car and a tennis court. But the guy wasn't quite the cat she thought she'd caught. He treat her like trash, and then you know the drill. Takes his cat and his cash and finds some younger girl. So she's left with this stupid Corvette and an empty swimming pool, which she fills with regret. Smart girl, but kinda dumb. And I'd rather be lonely than sit on my fanny, waiting for my prince to come. decades wanting to cheat on me, getting less handsome and fighting his dragons. He'd know what to wear, he'd have a full head of hair, and his eyes will be brown or blue or green, well I don't care, and his body would be toned with those pecs like you get at the gym, but he won't spend all his time at the gym. He'll love reading books, he'll be an excellent cook, he'll be good looking but not too aware of his looks. He'll be tender but tough and smart but not smug and attentive but not fawning and he'll smell good in the morning and he'll dance. And like hiking and baking and biking, I'm not picky, I just ask that he likes me and I like him and I'd rather be alone if the only other option is to come and settle down with some condescending clown with a great rating from some dating service, some self-professing Mr. Perfect, another narcissistic legend made a million out of hedge funds, another sexually ineffectual, self-obsessing metrosexual, pseudo-intellectual, getting drunk and existential every time the Steelers lose a game. Thanks. But perhaps some other day. One day, some day, my prince may come, but I won't hold my breath. There's only divorcees and weirdos left. And weird is fine, but not all the time. One day, some day, my prince will come. So the fairy tale says, all the
these years later, it's still in my head that if I screw a frog, 